folks. Welcome to Asshole Week 35. Mr. Golden Tea versus Calzone. Bring the action from Junie. Larry's going to start us off with a super rollout ball. Standard play. Sure, Calzone will do the same. Extremely fast shot for Matthew there. Here's up first, hitting the wind cutter ball. We'll stinger action with the one iron. Let's see how he does. With this match, hopefully we won't see too much lineups. They're just misses to the right hand side. By the way, this is Jason Harrell, aka Bub Golf, bringing the action in this asshole match. Remember, GSPs are great. But they don't mean shit. There's Matthew's attempt with the wind cutter, also known as a javelin. On about 90%. Maybe 91, 90. Short and to the right. Great shot. Don't need to see it again. Thank you. They're all tied up after one. Larry's going with the super fun, super backspin ball. Let's go ahead and get this lined up. Excellent shot. Piece of cake. Knock that in for Eagle. Matthew going with just the small backspin ball, the pinky. Not a problem, a little far, no points, who cares? All tied up after two. Larry with the super backspin ball once again. Gonna try to make this fun. Ian was not entertained. Larry's probably driving, trying to sell some blinds. And he knocks it in. See what Matthew does with the super sticky ball. Looks like a one iron there. See if you can knock this close or maybe in. Just a little deep. Easy putt for Matthew. All right, on to four. A couple different ways to play this one. There he's going to the middle fairway. Super sticky on the way. I don't know where that pin's at. I could have a very good look. Matthew going with the high fairway up right. Both have their advantages. Matthew with the wind cutter, driver, trying to get it all the way back to that back pin without going over. Let's see how he does. Eventually, eventually, there we go. It's on a good line. Oh, just a little far, but nice shot. If Larry can match. Got the three wood. Should be far enough back where that's not going to be a problem getting over the mountain. Alright, one hit in. Oh, very nice shot, Larry. Great points. But that don't mean anything. Easy putt. Onwards. Hole number five coming up. There are the Maniacs for the Super Go High Ball with the driver. And stuck up on the hill. That should be a fun little chip. Super sticky chip. Yep, you are uh, on the downslope there, Lair. And, and fundamentally poor might be an exaggeration, um, but it also in some ways is accurate. Oh, and just misses to the left. Door wide open for Matthew. So high launch driver, high T with the super fly high neon ball. Bet this shot's gonna be pretty darn good. I am pulling a Chad Trump here. I did not watch the video ahead of time. Uh, looking at the timestamp on it, uh, I don't have that much time to waste. We're all gonna do this here together with the first viewing. Excellent shot, Matthew. You should take a one shot lead going into hole number six.
three iron jab set up. He's got enough left there, but we'll see. These are two of the better players in the game. Actually, just a little bit too far left. Easy birdie. There's got the exact same idea. Let's see if he can knock one in and make up for that shot that he dropped in the last hole. Elon Musk said, cool. Lear's got very famous friends. Occident still one down after six. Matthew's going to go through the great Tetons. Give himself a nice look from the fairway. I like Leary's look a lot right here. It's set up nicely. Got to judge the distance. A little far, but not a bad shot. Remember, folks, if we're tied up after 18 holes, there will be sudden death on the back nine. And I think worlds are coming up pretty soon in Vegas. I hope everybody had a nice Father's Day. I got a new Blackstone grill, which was fantastic. I know I'm late to the party there, but uh, it was still good. All right, Matthew, still with that one-shot lead. Nice look here. Should be able to get around that mountain, no problem. And the sticky lands. Up four, right one. Automatic. Very good. Let's see if Larry's going to have the same shot. Looks like he is. A little extra turn on it. Up on the hill again. A little easier chip than, uh, than the other hole there, so I expect this to go in, no problem. And boom. Alright, got the Maniacs going to hole number nine. Get a nice look. Layer to the middle of the fairway as well. This is kind of juicy. Let's see how his weight is. I thought that might be a little far, but a fairly easy putt. Gonna finish at 13, so one worse for this nine. But there is a back. See if Matthew can hang on to his one-shot lead, or is he going to make it two? I don't see him dropping one here, but I also didn't see Rory missing two three-footers yesterday during the final round of the U.S. Open. What a chump. Ian was definitely not entertained with there, except his wallet definitely was. Excellent shot, Matthew. He'll finish at 14 under. For the front, with a one-shot lead going into the back nine. There it is. Windy City Show. We were not talking about that this week. Week 35 of Asshole, as my buddy Bama might say it. Right, nice easy approach right to the middle of the fairway. Don't get too far left. Should have a good look going into that green. Larry Swerving. Turn on. There you go. The quick shot. I think it was Hanson that kept his quick shot off the very first one that I did of these. Annoyed the shit out of me. All right, nice shot by Calzone. We'll left four down to the count of the clicks. Center cut. Player with another fun ball, super backspin. Excellent. Left five, no problem. Onwards. 100% nine wood here for Matthew. Wants that thing to come back. Come back. So close. Good shot. See if Larry's going to do the exact same after Matt puts in this putt. Same idea. Let's see how he lines it up here. Uh, 
They're not as good, but that's okay. All the same score. So you got the jab of the three wood. Try to get that all the way back. Nice and safe. That pin is tucked. Don't blame him for not going right at it. Ooh! Fun putt there. No clicks were hurt. Now Larry with the grabber. Very nice shot. Should be an easy putt. Just go ahead and tap the screen. There you go. Onwards again. Still one down for Larry through 12. Matthew going to hit into the poppies. Getting a good look here. I think Larry's just going to play the exact same shot as Matthew is the whole rest of the day. Let's just see who executes a little better. I like this look. I like this play. I'm going to snap it on back. Needs to make up a shot, and he knows that. He's played too much wind. Calzone up next. Nice safe play. Make sure you just get it over the water. Very nice. Easy putt. On to the 14th. Larry's still down by one. I can honestly say I absolutely hate this hole sometimes. Let's see what Matthew does here. Pull too far into that pot bunker is no fun whatsoever. This cunty little pin, but that's a very, very nice shot. Larry, what are you thinking? Same club, different ball. Little left. Should be a pretty easy chip to clean up. And no problem. All right, now reaching the uh, more difficult part of Juniper Falls. <coughs> these guys have for their second shots in here. Definitely a three iron stinger opportunity. Let's see if Larry maths this correctly. On the way. Ooh, just a bit far. But still a very nice shot. Tells him with the one iron. He knows that math, I do not. And a little deep for Calzone as well. Let's see what kind of pin they have here. <coughs> uh, not, not my favorite. Let's see what they do. Larry still needs to make up one shot. And he does it! Fantastic. Nice shot, Larry. We are going to see that again. Just lined up perfect. Just enough speed. A little side backdoor action. Everybody knows Larry likes a little backdoor action. Goes on 100% here. Plenty far enough. No. A little short. And we're all tied up after 16. Look on 17. That's pretty cake. Judge that wind correctly. Right back there. Very nice shot, Larry. For some worthless GSPs, but a no stress putt. Let's see if Cal Calzone has the same idea here. Three iron. 
100%, 15 mile an hour wind. Two ways to do almost the exact same thing. Going into 18, all tied up. GSPs mean shit. Look is pretty straightforward. Very nice shot, Larry. Smelling extras. That's three for three for me doing these videos. I want to thank Bama for throwing this together. I know uh, Samuel Hines had some things he had to deal with, so Bama took over. So we uh, we all appreciate that, keeping this uh, asshole vids going for our pleasure. I was on with an orbit. Right eight. Guessing he makes it. All right. Now we're heading to sudden death. As mentioned before. All tied up after 18. Let's head back to the back. Excellent graphic there, Bama. Well, Maniac's action, once again, high launch, quick shots on, engaged. Same shot for both players. And they are being aggressive again, as you should, in sudden death. One show, one shot can end the match. I tried real hard there. Fantastic play. All right, trying to fly in the super sticky. Seven wood, I believe. Good judgment on the weights. And they're moving on to hole number 11. We get a little rollback. Just fine, nice and safe. Calzone is pretty much the same idea. 100% with the six wood. He's online. He's online. Not quite. All right, once again, onwards, hole number 12, par four. Good look. Get all the way back there. Not a problem for Lair. And we got a little wind cutter jab action for Matthew here. And playing it safe again. Do not blame him whatsoever. Good push on the putt. Heading back to the poppies, hole 13. Very, very front pin, it looks like. And on the wind, we should see some good shots coming in there. Alerting with the water past the poppies. They're looking to rip it back with the orbit again. See if he lines us up a little better. Just a little bit too far, but he cannot be short there. Short there is absolute death. Everybody knows that. Once again, jab for Calzone. It's going to be a little deep, but once again, safe. Better safe than sorry. Onwards to 14. Alright, Larry with a little grabber action. Didn't quite play enough wind, but nice and safe and in for his birdie. Yeah, goes on with the jab. Throw it up there, hope for a bounce back. Nice shot. On to 15. Let's get to the meat of the course here. Larry sizing this up with a stick. You think he's got a plan in mind? Goes on with the streak. I'm sure we'll get a thousand streaks in our next uh, package set up instead of getting something useful. Oh, leaves it just short. Okay, gonna have a uh, very, very important chip here. Sandwich with a jab. 
this won't come back very often. The backswing won't be too far back, that is. I'm sorry. I had one of my animals clam up on the table. Nice shot, Larry. Easy chip. Another jab from Calzone. Looks like he's going really safe. Aim to the right, breaks right too. Up four, left three, shouldn't be a problem. I counted the quickest two since we had time. On to 16, let's see what this look is. Larry's gonna hope to repeat his magic that tied up the match the first time around. And Calzone's going naked. Something no one wants to hear. But would you even know? It'd just be like a big sweater with wool pants walking around. Onwards. Front pin here. Kind of dangerous to go after. Let's see what Larry's doing. <coughs> Playing it back to the pin he had before. Don't blame him there. But the downhill right five. In the cup, no problem. Goes on playing the same shot he played before as well, but not a hundred percent. A little more aggressive. Easy putts. Let's take a look at this look on seventeen. Do we have a T on that? I hope so. Oh, just past the mountain. Little left 10. <coughs> Not a problem whatsoever. And idea is Larry here. Nice and safe. Be a pretty easy putt. The proper click 10 here. On to 18. A bad look. I would say this is makeable. Maybe with the grabber. Maybe a little roll down. Nice shot. Very safe. And this is at 14. I don't think this is quite as, as aggressive. I don't see that getting there. So just a little tester down seven, left five. Count out those clicks. Got a feeling we're going back to ten, folks. Center cuts, we are. <coughs> Double sudden death. How long can this go? I'm guessing another five minutes. <laughs> Part two. Excellent job there, Bama. And up the fairway. Pretty much the same pin we've seen. The two other times we've seen this hole. I guess Larry's going to play another orbit back. But I'm playing safe with the, uh, with the super sticky. Up and in. Easy three. Just a grabber this time. Calzone's challenging a match during the match. Fun. Nice putt, Larry. On to 11. Let's see some fireworks from somebody. Oh, this is a juicy pin. There we go with the high lofted wood and the jab. Just gotta line it up. This looks like a nice line. Oh, and just to the right. That was a damn good shot, Larry. I don't know if we need to see that again. There you go. See if Calzone can dial this in with a 
Going with the three iron. Up six. See if he lines this up correctly. Oh, also very nice shot as well. One of those could have ended it, but it didn't. On to hole 12. That's a nice look again. That's safe. Down six, right three, shouldn't be a problem. Boom. All right, Matthew, it's just a three wood, 100%. Nice shot as well. A little closer than Larry. On to 13. Back to the poppies. Same front pin again. He's going a little deeper. I like this aggression by Larry. back. Close but no cigar. All right, let's see if someone can make one or someone can make a mistake. Only a seven wood from down there from Matthew Calzone. Calderon. Very nice shot, but we're going to be going to the 14th hole. Still all tied up in double sudden death. Get this jab, nine wood I believe does for Lair. Oh, and he took a terrible bounce. Let me try the flop wedge. Left three, a little right wind. Let's see if he can judge this correctly. Or, if the door is wide open, for Calzone to take this one down. Yeah, door's wide open. Nine wood, calzone, and a little further to the left. Just has to make this putt, and this is over. And he does it. Excellent match, gentlemen. Thank you so much for letting me announce this uh, for you. Calzone wins by one and double sudden death. We will see you next time.